Number one, get yourself a decent glass cutter. I see so many students and myself included when I started out scoring the glass and hand shaking and kind of putting lots of pressure on and holding the glass cutter in your fist like this and, and getting frustrated because glass isn't cutting in the way that you want it. Very often if you're doing a score line you think, have I scored it hard enough? Uh, am I re do I need to rescore it? And you go over the score again. These are mistakes that, that, that everybody makes to start with. Uh, cutting textured glass, you know, if you're cutting textured glass, do I cut it on the textured side or the non-textured side? There's loads of issues to do with cutting glass. The most important thing with glass cutters is to get yourself the right glass cutter. And hands down, the best glass cutter you can buy on the market is a Japanese glass cutter called Toyo, T-O-Y-O. -O. They're absolutely fantastic. They're oil-filled glass cutters. And they're kind of like industry standard for stained glass artists.